What's going on guys, me Denver and Erica Films here, and today we're back with another episode of NHL 16. Today we're facing the Calgary Flames in Calgary, and we are on this western, uh, this western tour, and we're facing yet another defenseman that, uh, used to be on the Boston Bruins, and it is Dougie freaking Hamilton, and, um, yeah, he, he's pretty good, I guess, I mean, he's still developing, he's still young. So he's nothing good, but they have Johnny Hockey, the exact opposite of Johnny Football, if you know what I mean. And you know this this team is a little bit a little bit good. Um, you know they got Yuri Hoodler. I uh, got him forgetting their centerman's name on that line with Johnny Hockey. They have uh, Brody Hamilton. You know th this team is pretty good. They have Ramo who was on fire a little bit in real life, but uh, I don't know if he is right here. Is Marshan whiffs on the shot he skates around the net takes a huge hit from uh i don't know who that was but uh passes up to f uh, raymond he gets a nice opportunity but there's a delayed penalty for tripping on zidane ochara and i'm like you've got to be kidding me man i was going for the puck you all saw that you can go back and watch it i'm being sarcastic but um <laughs> I mean, that's my oh no it's hiller in net. why are all these goalies i've never heard of in net? it's it's, it's a frustrating um yeah, with my editing software, I'm now able to see names and stuff. I figured out a way to do it. Uh, Backland up to Bennett. Oh my god, it feels so good to read off their names. As McQuaid pressures Bennett to pass up to Frolic. And oh my god, I know it's not Frolic, but I'm going to say it's Frolic. And look at these chances. One timer after one timer. And Rask is standing in net. And another. Never mind. I was about to say another big save. I just assumed it was. Backland goes in unassisted and scores the goal. Uh. That was pretty, pretty wicked, if I do say so myself. And just another big hit in this Calgary team. <laughs> One could say they're on fire. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Schmid. Was that his name? Schmid. M I S M I D. Like, what? And we get another penalty for tripping. Oh, my God, man. We are not having a good time. Is that a Seidenberg with a tripping? That's two games now. Two trippings uh, in two consecutive games was what I'm trying to say. Matt Bolesky trying to get a goal there with some penalty kill time. That is not going to work, however. And look at these chances, man. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, that's right. Sean, Sean, Sean Mon Monahan. Monahan. Oh, my God. I said that on a New York accent. Uh, yeah, he is on that line with Yuri Hitler and Johnny Hockey, um, which I call them like the baby triplets, like on the... Uh, freaking Tampa Bay Lightning. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, 30 seconds left in the power play. We're doing an excellent job of killing this off. As Oh, man, there was a rocket, but a nice block by one of our defensemen. He has all day to skate in. Sean Monahan, I think that is, but it does not happen. And we skate up with Matt Bolesky and Patrice Bergeron. He's actually going to get a shot here. Almost scores shorthanded. Loops around, shoots another one on Hiller, and Hiller has to save. And that was very good by the Boston Bruins right there. Um, McQuaid almost turns it over, but it's gotten by Louis Erickson. Erickson over to McQuaid, over to Seidenberg. Seidenberg skates up, jukes someone, fires a bomb, and it is saved by Hiller. And there is a lot of pushing and shoving by David Krejci out in front of the net. Uh, and there's going to be no fight. A uh, huge bomb by McQuaid off the faceoff, but it is blocked. Uh, Zach Ronaldo's circling around trying to find a shooting lane. Does, and that is easy save right there. Uh, the player skates in. I'm just going to call him the player. Is it Claiborne? I think his name is. I don't know. I, I can barely see. It. It's still blurry, but it's, it's, I can see a little bit better. Um, anyway, right here, a shot by Chris Kelly. That goes out of play, and I'm not really liking how Chris Kelly has been playing. Uh, a bomb by Kevin Miller. Uh, up to Jones. Up to Furland. And he's going to try to skate around, trying to look for a pass here. I don't know why he didn't go for the shot. Uh, Jones... Now has the puck skating around, back up to Russell, over to Smid. It fires a shot and is wide of the net. And another huge shot, and uh, our defense is doing a lot of things right now. As now it's Furlan versus Kevin Miller over someone's dead body. Uh, I don't know who that is. He's just lying there in pain as they awkwardly fight. And Kevin Miller is going off on Furlan, a whole bunch of rights. And Furlan is just barely countering, and he gets destroyed by Kevin Miller there as he takes him to the ice. And the Bruins fans in the stands are loving that. And yeah, that was David Krejci going down. And that is not a good thing to see David Krejci. You see Jones and Erickson going at it. Maybe they maybe they will start to fight. 
Anyway, right here, Gerard gets it up to Brett Connolly. Brett Connolly fires a shot, but it is saved by Hiller, who just puts his uh, stick out and just hits it right out of the air, which is impressive. Anyway, Weidman turns it over in his own uh, zone. Tory Crew, the offensive defense, with a great shot, fires it. Another shot fired and is blocked. Brett Connolly gets the rebound, though, off of someone, and Hiller makes a pass to Bennett up to Raymond. Raymond circles back around. Uh, he knew that we were trying to hit him, so he just circled around, which is something I should do more because I always just, you know, I'm always trying to get better at the game, and I'm trying to always look at my um, my weaknesses. And the guy's name is actually Frolic. And why isn't Hoodler on that line? Is Hoodler not playing? I haven't seen his name. One time is right there. Marshawn skates in, fires a wrist shot, but he might have been too close there. As there's a huge hit on Frolic, and he is just getting destroyed right now by uh, Zidane Chara. That was just absolute destruction. And now Bergeron goes down, and Marshawn is not going to allow that to happen. Marshawn drops his gloves going after someone else, but instead he's going to face Sean Monaghan. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble saying his name. Monaghan is now getting so, sort of the advantage there, even. And Monaghan definitely has a bigger punch. But Marshan ends up winning this fight, and that was a very close one. Both guys are beaten up, and they have five minutes to recover, each of them going to the penalty box for that amount of time. Um, a shot by McQuaid wide of the net uh, up to Jones. Jones up to Hoodler. Hoodler, uh, there, there's Hoodler. Um, <laughs> Hoodler. Uh, turns it over and now it's recovered by Erickson. Erickson with a shot and a nice save by um, Hiller. Uh, so many ERs at the end of everyone's name. Is that Huller? Huller? Hiller? Oh my god, there's so many ERs at the end of these guys' names. Name. Um, and Louis Erickson is not going to be able to get the puck. I thought the puck would be faster than him, so that's why I started skating right there. And a nice play by Dennis Seidenberg is now it's carried up the ice by Louis Erickson again. Louis Erickson does a little windmill deke and tries to get by the defense but it doesn't happen Bennett circles the hoy back around into his own up to frolic frolic curls around his net and we we're putting a lot of pressure on them Weidman up to Goudreau uh Goudreau up to Bennett Louis Erickson with a big hit and is going to be recovered here by Weidman Weidman back around his net this is gonna be Tori Krug with a bomb a save by Hiller and uh up to you no know, Gordiano uh not I, well, I said Goudreau there before it was Gudiana. And now skated in by Chris Kelly. We are putting a lot of pressure on them right now. And Hiller is facing so many shots but saving all of them. And I don't know how we're so done. Gordiano round to Frolic. Frolic up to Hoodler. Hoodler up to Bennett. And a huge hit by Char is coming. Actually, that wasn't that big of a hit. Um, Char gets the puck, however. Up. Uh, Frolic gets a turnover there. A huge shot by Bennett. Excellent save. They missed the one-timer. Bennett does... And that's going to go the whole way down the ice as um, Dougie Hamilton recovers it there. But an excellent job causing a turnover. And now Jimmy Hayes is looking for someone. And there's that passing again. Tuka Rask is forced to make a save. I don't know if that counts as a shot on net. I don't know. Um, Matt Irwin up to Patrice Bergeron. Seeing what he can do after that hit that he received. And he just fires it right on, on Hiller. Uh, Hiller gets another bomb from the point and gets it out of the zone. Now the Calgary Flames trying to set up their offense. He circles around, fires a bomb, and that does not go in, as now it is Spooner up to Mapaleski, who has space. He has feet trying to cross the, go across the front, and that is stopped by Smid. Balma get, misses. We missed the check on Balma completely, and now they're trying to set up their offense against Smid up to Balma. Uh, up to Russell. Russell with a bomb, and that does not go in at all because of he missed the net, that's why. <laughs> I could have worded that better. Right there, Smith somehow um, fires it through our guy's legs. And another save by Tuka Rask. Just big saves everywhere. As Matt Bolesky fires it off of the side of the wall. Um, trying to set up something. Uh, Claiborne to For uh, Furland. I couldn't really read Claiborne's name. Is that is his name Claiborne? I can't freaking read his name. It's too many letters, man. Um, and it's too short an amount of time as that's uh, Chris Kelly firing it on net but Hiller simply passes it out with a whole bunch of time and now they're going to shoot it down the ice trying to set up their offense again with a little dump and chase strategy and now with a minute 30 left to go in the period uh, we beat the icing call Zach Renato tries to fire a backhand through the five hole of Hiller but that is not going to happen and we're skinning in trying to cause a turnover 
And again, that is not going to happen. Now with 25 seconds left to go, the Bruins are trying to come up with something big. Marchand gets hit, and Marchand is just getting destroyed right now. He loses the puck to Dougie Hamilton, who is just dominating in this game. Frolic takes a big hit, and Adam McQuaid falls down, um, and Johnny Gaudreau gets a last... Uh, shot there and that is not good as Bergeron wins against Monaghan in the third period David Pasternak fires it and somehow Hiller comes up with a save uh, Zidane Chara gets tripped on the play and now we're going to go on the power play but they win the face off and uh, they're going to shoot it down the ice we're trying to set up some sort of offense as now that is Tori Krug up to Louis Erickson Louis Erickson weaves in and out fires it Alm Gordiano almost dropped it in his own net Marchand Point to point from uh, back to Marsh and uh, I can't I can't keep up. <laughs> Chara over, it's intercepted. It's a breakaway now. Trying to cash in, runs right into Rask, and number 18 could not bury it. As now Patrice Bergeron brings it up the ice on this failed power play. Dougie Hamilton flips it right back down as he takes it away from Bergeron. Chara with 15 seconds left on the power play passes it up to Louis Erickson. Louis Erickson crosses the blue line, skates in, fires a shot on Hiller, but that is not going to go in. Bergeron wins the race with the puck. Bergeron circles around. Bergeron with a shot and save by Hiller. 16 minutes left to go in the game. Raymond up to Hoodler. Yuri Hoodler is a guy we have to watch out for. He's one of the best scorers on this team, like I've said before. Bennett with a shot. McQuaid passes it up to Matt Pileski, who gets time to redeem himself from the last breakaway. Fires a shot, and we cannot get the rebound. Oh, my gosh, guys. As Raymond gets destroyed by uh, Seidenberg, but he could not get the puck. Uh, McQuaid up to Ryan Spooner looking for Brett Kindly. Brett Kindly has space, fakes the big shot. Takes a little wrist shot, misses the net. Bolesky to Connolly, and they score. The Bruins are tied 1-1 one to one with the Calgary Flames with 13 minutes left to go in the game. Big plays are being made. There's that clock again. Zach Ronaldo over to Max Talbot. Max Talbot fires it on Hiller, and Hiller comes up with another big save. Dougie Hamilton up to Johnny Goudreau. Johnny Hockey, we have to watch out for his shot, too. As look at the aggressive defenseman by Tory Krug. He normally doesn't do that in real life, but, you know, why not do it here? Dougie Hamilton is just absolutely trashing Max Talbot right here. But he comes around, shoots on Hiller, and a big save by Hiller. Bergeron wins a faceoff. Bomb by Kevin Miller, and that is saved by Hiller. So many ERs, like I've said before. Um, someone's uh, stick shatters, and that causes a breakaway. Johnny Goodrow fires it, and a big save by Tuka Rask on the breakaway. As Matt Irwin now pass it up to David Poshnock, coming back the other way. The Bruins have a little bit of momentum. David Poshnock seeing what he can do. Fires a shot, and somehow saved by Hill, uh, Hiller. Raymond over to Bennett. Bennett takes a hard shot. Um, by, uh, who was that? I, I don't know. He won't turn around, so I can't see his number. Um, that was Kevin Miller with that big hit. And now the Calgary Flames are off sides. Uh, Sean, Shane Monahan. Sean? I think it's Sean Monahan. It's very hard to say his name for some reason. Um, Schmid with a bomb. Saved by Rask. All over the place now with six minutes left. Each team trying to get the advantage. Uh, oh my god, a pass, uh, right in front of Tuka Rask, but that is covered up. Seidenberg up to Jimmy Hayes. Uh, Jimmy Hayes is going to circle around here and gets it stolen from him by Johnny Goudreau. Sean Monahan carries it up. And now look at Seidenberg trying to come in for a big hit. Fakes the big hit, but th that leaves an opening for someone up the middle. And now Ryan Spooner is going to get that rebound or the pass from Rask. And now uh, Jimmy Hayes trying to find something again. Off the crossbar. Hiller was beat. Hiller was beat. And Jimmy Hayes fires it off the crossbar and I'm like you've got to be kidding me the Boston Bruins have had so many chances so have the Calgary Flames but that was their chance to put the game away as Jimmy Hayes has it again cuts over to Patrice Bergeron Bergeron passes it to Jimmy Hayes and Jimmy Hayes cannot bury it Jimmy Hayes oh my god guys that was so close big saves by Hiller just a series of just three Shots at a time and a huge hit by Marchand in their own end. Tory Krug misses his check and a huge glove save by Rask. That was almost the game right there. David Pasternak skates up the ice. Easy save there by Hiller. Uh, Pasternak skates it up, fires a pass to Marchand. Marchand hits it off the post. Uh, didn't really have a good angle there. As Johnny Gaudreau gets destroyed from a pass from Bennett, um, that just did not work out. As now this is Ryan Spooner. Ryan Spooner fires a shot, but it gets caught up in the defenseman's skates. Coming back the other way with 40 seconds to go. Johnny Goodrow fires a shot, scores. 
but they were off sides. Holy crap, guys. This game is insane. 30 seconds left. The puck is recovered by Zidane Ochara. He tries to pass it up the side. They fire a shot with no defenseman in front. They get the puck again. Gordiano, I think that was, firing the shots. As now Louis Erickson is going to have to circle around, waste a little bit of time. As now Zidane Ochara skates up into the zone, fires a shot. He needs to get back on defense. He cannot pinch. That's exactly what he does. Um, as uh, Dougie Hamilton passes it up to his teammate. Six seconds to go. Uh, Tori Krug. Up to Ryan Spooner. Ryan Spooner gets a chance. Ryan Spooner fires a shot with uh, 0.1 seconds left to go, and that is not going to go. And so we go into overtime for our second consecutive game. Uh, Patrice Bergeron versus Sean Monahan. Back to uh, Gordiano. Gordiano turns it over to uh, Tori Krug. Carried in by Dougie Hamilton. Monahan now gets the pass. Gets laid out by Tori Krug, who has been so good recently. And Dougie Hamilton feels Chara's shoulder into his throat right there as that is a huge hit. Bergeron gets the puck stolen from him by Gordiano. Uh, Tori Krug again trying to go for that ag aggressive defense with big hits as Hamilton skates in. Tries... Uh, uh, I'm so far behind. There's a shot on Tuka Rask and he saves it. And now it's carried up the ice by Patrice Bergeron. Patrice Bergeron circles, tries to find something. He was at a bad angle there as Hiller... Um, passes it out to Dougie Hamilton. I thought that was a very bold move since Bergeron was standing right there. But this is Sean Monahan carrying it into the zone. Fires it over to Dougie Hamilton. And Patrice Bergeron dives at his legs trying to make the game winning save. And that is going to be a power play right there. And uh, this game is not looking good right now, guys. As Matt Irwin fires it down the ice. Hiller actually misses it. If one of our guys were in position, then we could have put the game away right there. But it's not going to happen as they shoot it down the ice which is really stupid because I get there first as now Adam McQuaid is simply going to carry this out actually no he's not he's going to pass it up to Chris Kelly Chris Kelly fires a shot on Hiller right to Hiller um should have picked one of the corners as they're now trying to set up something Dougie Hamilton now carries the puck past the uh center ice and we're almost done with this power play we fire it down again a minute 20 left on the power play only a minute left in the game and um yeah, this is very, very stressful as they're simply just standing there. I don't know what they're doing. Dougie Hamilton over to Johnny Hockey. We cannot let him score. We Oh, my God, a huge hit on him by Matt Irwin. And that is what the Boston Bruins are about, ladies and gentlemen. We hit you, and we shoot the freaking puck, and that's exactly what we needed. Bennett, with 36 seconds left, carries it up the ice. And a huge hit by Adam McQuaid. That might have been not Kevin Miller before. That might have been Adam McQuaid. Um... Chris Kelly carries it up and simply going to shoot it down past Hiller again. And I don't know why Hiller is not recovering it. Bennett up to Goodrow. 19 seconds left in the game. Fires a bomb off of Tuka Rask. And we have to watch out for that right there. Kevin Miller carries it past the center line or their own blue line and shoots it down the ice. Uh, Bride? Is his name Bridge? I, I, again, it's sort of hard to read. Bennett carries it past the red line. And he's going to take one final shot, and that is a save. And now here we go, guys. In to the shootout. Burst run fires first. Scores a goal. Johnny Hockey puts the moves on Rask. Zdeno Chara now trying to shoot. And he scores! And now all oh, Tuka Rask needs is one more big save, but he scores. And now Tory Krug has the game on his stick. Tory Krug fires a shot, and he scores! Tory Krug with the game-winning goal, and we beat we beat Calgary in uh, the shootout, and we beat them 2-1. Uh, 43 shots, 27 shots, 22 hits, and 8 hits. That's me. That's it. So guys, comment, subscribe, and just go to school. And girl folks out. Peace!